secretary. Speakers in the subsequent session, Vijay Rajinkya, Dilip Bhai, Adish Thakkar. Seniors in the profession, ladies and gentlemen. I am delighted to greet you at this ninth international Presidential Conference International Tax at Goa. Goa is known as the Pearl of Orient and also tourist paradise. Goa is much more than beach and sea. It has a soul which goes deep into unique history, rich culture. It is known for magnificent scenic beauty and the architecture, splendors of its temples, churches, and old houses. I made the Goa of form favorite with the travelers around the world. This year again, this has been a destination for the Chambers Residential Conference on International Tax. When I was going through the learning from Goa, I have seen that Goa has a history of more than 30,000 to 40,000 years old history it has. Economic activities has never been as global as they are today. This has contributed to the increase in the mobility of economic activity around the globe and has created opportunities as well as the problems for the players in the world economy. Looking at this setting for the tax perspective, conference like this helps participants to understand the current techniques and gives understanding to the tools we currently use by the multinational enterprise to benefit from the opportunities and overcome the problems created by the expansion of the market. The government of India has also one thought for the current year, Make in India, which gives the opportunities for the foreign players to set up manufacturing base in India. This will create opportunities for the Indian professionals too. Just when I was coming in the today, that I was by this international conf tax conference is made a residential basis. I just tried to connect with this one of the small anecdote that one young man was there and he was sitting and the some the person, very dark person, came inside. The person obviously he couldn't like to select that person and he asked who I am. He said, I am Yamraj and I came to take you from here. He said, I am so young. He said, for us there is no senior and junior. I have a list of 10 people and you are on the first track I came to take you first. The man was very smart and he has been very successful in his business and profession. So he said that, he offered up, said that since you came to take me, have a seat, I will give you Take a, we have a coffee with us and then we we'll go together. He tried to play something. He gave the cup of coffee. Along with that, he put in the sleeping pills. And Yamraj went to sleep. He was sleeping for three hours. When he got up, he realized that he has missed something. But he says that uh, like, till for so many years I have never been sleeping and no one has offered me a cup of coffee. So now I have came here to take you first. But now I take the person who was 10th, I will make him first and I will make you 10th. This conference like this helps in building up some strategy and how to play out around those things. The many of the participants at this conference are not the member of chamber. So I would like to have few words of the chamber. Chamber is nearly 90 kg old organization with some membership strength of around 4,000. The uniqueness of the chamber is that the members are chartered accountants, post accountants, company secretaries, lawyers, tax practitioners and corporates. Chamber functions to the various committees. It has 13 committees and one of such committees is the International Tax Committee who has organized this conference. Chamber's journal is a widely accepted journal. The, it, is, it comes from theme-based journal where the, in any journal you find the topic which is being analyzed on thread-based basis. This has been helped many of the, and this 
members as well as non members who are subscribers chamber was also very strong in representation at the various levels it is representing before the various authorities at the tax authorities as well as the committees like standing committees on finance when the last year the tax report was modified or revised and the due date of filing return was not extended but only the filing the audit report was extended chamber took the initiative and filed a written petition before the bombay high court with this few words i once again welcome you to this conference and hand over the floor to the chairman sundarish bhai thank you good evening everyone good evening. president uh, members on the dais seniors learned speakers and friends uh, i'll give a brief background about this conference and how did we plan the papers uh, first of all of course it gives me a great pleasure to welcoming you all at this ninth international tax conference at the comfortable and uh, uh, comfortable venue of radisson blu the work started on this uh, conference almost 7 7 months ago and uh, the organizing team has put in a lot of effort and therefore we are here to begin this event today we have kept several topics and uh, considering the re uh, recent developments which have taken place especially in the last one or two years where our government and other governments have become very active in looking at the tax structures very closely and some steps are meant directly to attack the undisclosed incomes in these circumstances how do we advise our clients what are our responsibilities is something which we must understand very carefully and of course what are the ground realities whatever we are told in the media or through the media is that correct is that not correct is something we will try and learn during the course of this conference and therefore for this particular topic directly or indirectly we have had we have organized three sessions one is a presentation by mr akhilesh ranjan who is a joint secretary for in tax and tax research division in delhi and he represents india uh, at the oecd he will discuss about the global developments pertaining to beps and exchange of information then we have a special talk by sri dilip bhai thakkar on experience on in undisclosed income assessments and proposed legislations he will be sharing his insights into this in this subject and then we have tax issues in estate of uh, in case of estate planning through trust where several families have thought of uh, establishing trusts for their estate planning and uh, professionals also have been advocating this so what are the issues and pitfalls in this uh, topic for which we have uh bijal ajinkya take up this session and it will be chaired by dilip bhai thakkar then we have three technical sessions relating to specific topics we have three group discussions where one is a paper by mr paresh parek on which he already completed the group discussion this is on segment of employees not from the employee perspective which is generally the case but this time we have thought of having it from the employers perspective and uh, he has dealt with not only tax aspects but also some aspects of visas and other labor laws then this budget has made several important amendments relating to indirect transfers and place of effective management apart from others uh, it has tried to reduce unintended implications of indirect transfers which arose because of the board of home case to understand this topic we have mr padam chand khincha who has already given his paper to understand uh, this subject from the perspective of outbound and inbound structuring of investments then we have the third group discussion paper by mr himanshu parekh on royalties and fees for technical services though this is an, an old subject but it's an evergreen subject and therefore this time we have thought of having the paper only in form of case studies to deal with only the controversial issues 
sometimes we only focus on direct or the indirect tax. We don't look at the other side. To give us a complete picture, we have Mr. Sridharan, an advocate, who will be telling us about multi-dimensional tax issues in case of cross-border transactions. So it will cover direct as well as indirect taxes uh, on this topic. And finally, we have a panel discussion on the last day where we have two case studies on international tax and two on transfer pricing to be dealt with by Mr. Sanjay Tolia and Mr. Anish Thakkar. And that session will be, session will be chaired by Mr. T.P. Oswal. So thus we have eight sessions in all and uh, the organizing team thought that this is not sufficient so they have also planned some entertainment programs, DJ nights and team building exercises. The details of those will be shared in due course. Just one or two important things. Uh, <clears throat> due to the complexity of the subject, some speakers have requested for additional time, which we have accommodated. The schedule is tight, and as you would have seen, because of the delay, the things have become delayed. So therefore, I request you, all of you, to adhere to the time schedule which has been given, especially from tomorrow, so that we start our group discussions on time, and we have the maximum benefit of the learning speakers which are here. On the guys, apart from me, we have Mr. Rutvik Sanghi, Mr. Jimit Devani and Mr. Ganesh Raj Gopalan, uh, who are, apart from myself, who are the contact points. If there is any issue with this conference, you can contact any of us. The numbers are given in the booklet. Uh, Rutvik will give more details about this conference. I once again welcome you to this 9th International Tax Conference. In the CTC, we inaugurate the conference by lighting the lamp and therefore may I request members to with this, the conference is formally inaugurated and <laughs> I request the reader to give more details of the conference.
respected seniors and friends, first of all, a very, very warm welcome in this uh, very, very cold climate, I believe. Uh, not something which we generally expect from Goa, but in rainy season, I think it's a different beauty altogether for Goa. So welcome you all to Goa and to Madison Blue. Uh, welcome to the conference. And I'll just make a few announcements, but first of all, I would just like to thank everyone for your support here, especially our uh, senior speakers here who have supported us very well by joining us this conference and making it technically superior. And also all the delegates, we have had a record number of delegates in this nice residential conference from 14 cities and a few from outside India. Thank you all for your support here. Uh, I'll just make the announcements as far as the program schedule goes, which briefly the technical sessions have already been explained by Nadesh Bhai. Uh, I'll just announce that apart from this, uh, tomorrow onwards as Nadesh Bhai mentioned, if we stick to the type, probably we should have, anyways the sessions are quite tight. So we would request if everyone can come on time, we can all take benefit of the speakers. They have specifically asked us to elongate their time so that they can cover all their issues. And I am sure that in our group discussions with them, they have highlighted so many issues that it's going to be a really enjoyable presentation and sessions here. Apart from that, uh, the main, main issue is about the group discussion locations. I believe that almost all of you are aware of where the group discussion locations are because of the change in the schedule which we have done today. In, in this case, any of you is not aware, then kindly contact any one of us on the dais or uh, the chamber staff here, Mr. Hitesh Shah and Mr. Suresh. Uh, as far as the technical sessions are covered in depth by Nadesh Bhai, I would just brief you about what other non-technical sessions which we have planned. Uh, this year we have tried to take a different take and we have tried to see that there is a good team building activity which happens. So when we are quite a few of you probably are here coming for the first time, come of you we meet only once a year. What we would like to do is that this time we have a cohesive team which actually enjoys and has a lot of fun and that is the idea that we have from tomorrow at 5 pm where we all get together and for all age groups there are different activities which have been planned uh, by the organizing team. So we would wish that you all join and you all take part in them. It's going to be a lot of fun. So please don't miss those activities. Followed by on Saturday is when we have a gala dinner. So both these days we have booked you. So kindly do not skip those activities. It will be good fun for all of you. Uh, as far as the I understand the facilities which the hotel is announced you are already covered in the letter which we have given you. They are also part of the delegate letter which we have mentioned we have given to you. Except for one small amendment. Uh, the spa facilities which have been offered at 20% discount have been hiked up to 40%. You can please take that uh, if you get the time from our position. And uh, yeah. <laughs> and apart from that, there there is Wi-Fi which is available for everyone here. In case you have a problem in logging in or something, kindly contact the hotel. They will assist you in saying to that you can access Wi-Fi. There will be a separate login and password given for that. Uh, I think some of you may have experienced here. There is a slight interruption in lights. Sometimes they just go off. We have marked that they do not exceed 15 seconds. So in case it does happen, please uh, just wait it out. In 15 seconds, everything starts back to normal. And those who have not been able to collect the papers, uh, kindly contact uh, the chamber staff who is here sitting on the desk right, just right to me. And in case you could not get the papers because of all these delays today, please collect it from them. The meal venues. As, a, as far as goes, will be for breakfast will be the upper deck. Most of you who have had lunch today is the same place where you will be having your breakfast and also the lunch. For Brenna, we will intimate you as and when it goes because we are still closing on the venues for the Brenna. There are certain concerns which actually the hotel staff have also mentioned to us. Uh, the beach is a short walk from here. You have to cross the adjoining resort which is part of this whole, this whole uh, venue and reach the beach which is around 7 to 8 minutes from here. But kindly do not enter the waters because of this season you can experience it yourself. There are thunderstorms coming again and again so they are advised strictly that kindly do not enter the waters here. Also uh, while the pathways if in heavy rains they become slightly risky while walking please take care so that there is no un, you know unnecessary injuries to any one of you. Uh, with that I think my announcements are closed. I wish all of you a very educative and a very um, uh, a very enjoyable time here and thank you all. Welcome again.
we we start immediately with the next session, uh, which is uh, which is being taken by Ms. Bijal Ajinkya and chaired by Vidhi Bhai. Uh, it is on tax implication in case of trust used for estate protection of cross-border assets. Thank you.